guys, it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and send it to somebody else who may like it as well, okay? Likewise, when you're finished watching this video, underneath this video will be all of my contact information so if you would like to get a reading done or if you'd like to contact me or send me a general question for ask an aquarius you can find all of my contact information underneath this video okay all right guys so today we're going to talk about things that only aquarius truly understand why is that because many of us not all go through all of these things <laughs> or most of these things in our lifetime and i've talked to a lot of aquarius about these things and someone asked me what are the usual things that aquarius asked me about this was a non-aquarius and i was saying that um these are the kinds of things see, these four come up repeatedly so I feel like Aquarius understand these topics intimately, okay? So let's talk about them. The number one question that Aquarius asked me about, talked to me about, mentioned to me is should they leave their partner? Number one, number one, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, nine times out of 10, at some point in time, they wondered to themselves, should they leave their partner? Every Aquarius I know has had this conversation with me. And it's not because they have these awful partners, but it's because Aquarius always got one foot in the door and one foot out the door. And as soon as something happens, that other foot starts going dangerously towards the door. So it is not uncommon um, it is the most common <laughs> for an Aquarius to hit me up and say they want to talk about their relationship because they're trying to figure out, should I stay or should I go? <laughs> okay, I've heard this so many times. And honestly, I heard it mostly from Aquarius women, but I've heard it from both. Um, and usually it's always different. Sometimes they should leave and sometimes no. But it's just funny to me that so many Aquarius have that dilemma, which I, of course, um, trail back to hedgehog dilemma. I have a video that I'll put right here that talks about hedgehog dilemma. So you can see what I'm talking about. But it's that dilemma of should I stay or should I go? So that's number one. Number two. Aquarius always asks me, why was I betrayed? Or they're telling me a story about being betrayed. Very common. I've been through this myself. Um, I've been through all of these, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I've been through this one too. So a lot of Aquarius tell me they have experienced betrayal. And usually more than once. So they always ask me why was it and they're always telling me about it. So we're always talking about our, our own betrayals and, you know, what has happened to us. And I always tell them you have to really think about what does betrayal teach you. Betrayal teaches you to be more cautious and it teaches you that you can't trust everybody. Now, Aquarius that work through this energy productively come out on the other side just really being more cautious. But Aquarius who don't come out on the other side with issues of trust where they just say, you know what, I'm not trusting nobody and they just completely shut off. So it has to be a balance in there. You should trust, but people should be trustworthy before you trust them. So this is what teaches Aquarius that lesson. So I hear this from Aquarius all the time. If you're an Aquarius and you're out there right now, or if you know an Aquarius, please tell me if they've been through these four things, any one of them or all of these four things, because I hear these all the time. Number three, why do I keep getting stalked? Every Aquarius tells me, not every Aquarius, but every Aquarius that I've talked to has said to me, Queen, I'm always getting stalked. And I'm like, well, did you ghost a person? Because when a person gets ghost, especially in 2019, 
they have a tendency to think they're justified in stalking you. So the first question I always say is, did you ghost them? And if it's yes, then I'm like, that's why. They, they're, you know, they're looking for some kind of explanation, some kind of closure. Even if you give it to them, it's probably not going to make that big of a difference. But it's better to give it than not to give it. That's always my advice. So if they tell me, no, I didn't ghost anybody. I broke up with somebody or I stopped seeing somebody. And they're just keep, you know, hitting me up online every year or so. One person told me that her ex hits her up every year around the same damn time. Even though she keeps blocking him, even though she doesn't respond. And a lot of us have been through this. We've been either internet stalked or stalked in real life or a combination of both. So this is something that Aquarius understand intimately. What's the life lesson in being stalked? Well, I would say if you're ghosting people, the life lesson is not to ghost. I don't think you should ghost people unless they're dangerous. If they're dangerous, I say ghost them. But if they're not dangerous, I think you should just make a statement and go about your business. At least make the statement, though. I've said this in other videos. So... That's the lesson I think there. If you did not ghost them, it's probably taking you back to that who's trustworthy lesson. Because usually a stalker who stalks you without any kind of provocation is somebody that is a sick person. So the fact that you let them in in the first place tells me that something was going on with your ability to know who to trust and who not to trust. Or you're just letting everybody in and trusting them until they give you a reason not to trust them, which you can't do. You can't let people in your life and trust them until they prove themselves guilty. That's how you get into situations like this. What you want to do is get to know someone and let them earn your trust. And if they earn your trust, then you give it to them. If they don't earn it, then you haven't gotten hurt, <laughs> you know? So that's the way I've always encouraged people to do it. The fourth one that Aquarius will understand intimately is why am I so detached? So many Aquarius come to me and say they're detached or they don't feel anything. And I'm like, you do feel something. The thing is, is that you have detached from what you feel. And they're like, why do I feel so detached? Because somewhere along the line, you realized that Aquarius have that ability. Aquarius can totally detach from their feelings and from their emotions. And this can be a bad thing and this can be a good thing. The good part about it is, is that when something really hurts us, we can detach from it. We can leave it. <laughs> we can separate ourselves from what hurts, you know. The bad part is, is that many times it comes back to bite you in the ass. Many Aquarius tell me they've had an, emo an emotional breakdown in the past. Because they were detached from their feelings, but feelings don't go anywhere. You detach from them, but they're still there. So a lot of these Aquarius tell me that they start to basically come to a space where they have an emotional breakdown. And then some of them learn to deal with their emotions and some of them don't. Likewise, um, some Aquarius that I know choose to remain detached to stay safe. They choose to not feel anything to stay safe. And they come up with all these little clever defense mechanisms, all these, you know, little self-denials, you know, these kind of these little unhealthy ways of remaining detached so they can remain unhurt. So the life lesson there is to be okay with being vulnerable, Aquarius. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's all right. You have to be vulnerable to fall in love. You have to be vulnerable to connect with people. And if you're following what I said earlier about allowing a person to earn your trust, that person may prove themselves to be somebody that you can be vulnerable with or not. And if it's or not, you just back off. No harm, no foul. So these are the four things that Aquarius will understand intimately. You may not all, but I've had this question with like 300 Aquarius, literally over the years. And almost everyone I talk to has experienced at least one of these. But 
I would say 60% experienced all four. So I'm very curious to see in our listening audience how many of you have come across these situations. So I just wanted you to know that if you are dealing with any of these things, it is very normal for our sign and there are healthy, productive ways to deal with it. Don't use a method that's unhealthy, such as remaining detached. You see, not trusting anybody, shutting yourself off. All of those things, honestly, are immature. That's an immature person's emotional response. We're adults. <laughs> We're all adults here. So let's try to find productive ways to deal with these issues that we know oh so intimately. All right, Aquarius and everyone else, thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.